Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So today I decided to do something a little bit different on our channel and I thought this clean with me was such a great idea that you guys would enjoy it and I would too. I really want to start um, this series on our channel weekly so if you like it go ahead and give this video a thumbs up before the end of the vid. If you want to see how you can clean with me bathroom edition just keep on watching. So the first thing I do is I try to tidy up everything like just different things on the counter and like moving the scale out of the way and then I immediately go to like beating the rugs because the rugs with between Henry's beard and like me doing my hair on a daily basis there's tons of hair that gets in the rugs so I toss those out and I go and I throw those in the laundry room and then yes 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 I do vacuum our bathroom floor so like I said there's always like a ton of hair on the floor and it drives me insane and vacuuming <laughs> vacuuming our bathroom floor is like my lazy way of getting everything up off of the floor all the hair any like pieces of trash or like it just anything that gets on the floor I like using the vacuum to kind of suck it all up and it's really like easy compared to me using a broom So if we have any dirty towels at this time, I go ahead and I throw them out because those are going to go in the laundry as well. And right now I'm just preparing my countertops. I like to start with um, the countertops and the sink first and then I'll move my way over to the toilet and then finally to the shower. So I'm just placing everything to one side so that I can start cleaning the left side of the counter. I'm spraying my countertops with this um, Clorox bleach spray and I'm going to use that for the entire bathroom because bathrooms are like one of the dirtiest parts of the home and I just really love that bleach smell. It makes me feel like my bathroom really is clean. So I'm just wiping that down with a damp rag. Um, I don't have like one of those microfiber rags or anything like that. I'm just using like a regular cotton rag. I'm able to clean um, one side of the sink I move everything that was over there back to the opposite side and now I'm gonna go ahead and clean out our little toothbrush holder because this starts to get like very like gunky after a while as well so I just sprayed that with the Clorox spray I'm washing it out with some water and then um, it's good to go same thing that I did on the first side on this right side as well I'm going to spray it down with the Clorox spray and then just wipe it down with my damp rag up our mouthwash dispenser as well um, this day I was out of my little mouthwash cups but if I had some I refill those as well and then I sit the toothpaste on the tray Now I'm just getting rid of a lot of things that really don't even belong on the countertop um, and then I'm going to go ahead and move into cleaning the sink. The sink I find gets really built up as well with a lot of like toothpaste residue and things of that nature. So I sprayed it down with a Clorox spray and I'm cleaning off um, like the faucet part first with the handle and everything because that can get a lot of water splatter. sink 
now um, I already sprayed it with the Clorox spray so it's nice and clean that spray actually does a lot of the work for me I usually also use scrubbing bubbles as well so you could use that too um, don't forget to clean the mirror I just sprayed it with some Windex and then I'm wiping it down with a paper towel about to tackle one of the biggest messes the trash so I just hit the trash aside because I'll dump that out later on when I'm finishing up the bathroom but now we are about to tackle this toilet y'all I don't know about y'all but cleaning the toilet was not my favorite thing growing up um, and I still don't like it to this day <laughs> so I'm just spraying every single part of that toilet with the Clorox spray inside the toilet bowl on top of the seat everything and then I'm just going to take my time and wipe every single part of the toilet starting with like the back part the handle the base the lid you just want to make sure that you get every single inch not giving up as you can see <laughs> I'm making sure that every single piece of that back seat of the toilet is nice and clean and then I'm also going to take the rag and go around the inside of the toilet seat cover and just like go around the edge because like I said a lot of germs and just like dirt can get trapped back there as well well and then I'm gonna pull up the toilet seat and oh my gosh y'all this is so nasty but if you have a husband or if you have little boys you know that that part of the toilet seat can get dirty so I swapped out my rag for a paper towel because the rag was dirty of course and because we sit on the seat I want to use something clean to clean the top of the seat and that's just me with the paper towel um, and I'm cleaning off the Clorox spray rag again and I'm just going on the outside of that toilet bowl and then I'm gonna get my toilet bowl cleaner and I'm gonna go all the way around the toilet bowl at the top a lot of bacteria and stuff gets trapped there so make sure that you go around the top as well as um, like deep into the toilet bowl so that you don't have any like marks or anything like that The last thing we're going to tackle y'all is this shower and I tell you I hate stand up showers for this reason. It seems like it's so difficult to clean but I think I got a like a routine down. First I spray it with Windex on the outside only so that um, the glass can be as clear as possible because a lot of like soap scum and stuff like that gets built up and I just want the um, the glass to just you know be nice and see-through into the shower and I spray um, half of the floor with the Clorox if I had some scrubbing bubbles this would work even better but either way whichever one I'm using I spray half of the tub and then I step away for like five to seven minutes and let it soak and that does most of the work for me and then like if we have any empty shower gels or anything like that I go ahead and remove those and I swap out our washcloths too then I get on my hands and knees and I scrub the shower floor. It's really, really hard to kind of keep this type of shower clean. If you guys know of any product recommendations out there, please drop them down below. Otherwise, I'm just literally on my hands and knees scrubbing the shower floor. And then once I've sprayed the other side and I let that sit for five to seven minutes, I scrub the other side. One of the last things that I do is I take my Swiffer and I just like kind of mop the entire floor. This doesn't happen all the time because the bathroom floor doesn't need to be mopped all the time, but I try to rotate and do this at least every other cleaning to keep the floors clean.
After the mats come out of the washer and dryer, I place them back out and then we have a clean bathroom. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more of videos like this on Friday mornings, let me know in the comments below and give this video a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching and we will see you in our next video. Bye!